I'm in the gallery today with artist Emily Randall. And Emily's been showing her mixed media paintings with us now for, what, about six months, right? Since the spring. Uh, so she's relatively new to the gallery, but has seen a great deal of success already. Um, so in addition to Emily's paintings, which are here on the table, but we'll talk about them in a little bit, um, Emily also makes jewelry which is also right in front of us. And we're having a jewelry trunk show at the gallery on November 20th, which is next weekend. So um, I wanted to kind of introduce Emily to everyone and the really amazing things that she does. Um, so welcome. Thank you so much, Jessica. I love being in the gallery. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad. We like to have fun. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> and we like beautiful things. That's kind of the whole focus, our whole reason for being. And your work is certainly beautiful. Thank you. Um, I just want to back up a little bit and let people know that you're relatively new to Newport, right? That's right. I, we, Jen, uh, my husband and I have only been here just over a year. Um, I have a studio in my home, uh, thankfully, so I can get to work. <laughs> and uh, it's just been the most uh, creatively energetic time this year. Newport is incredibly inspiring because there's beauty around every corner. Right. right, absolutely. And you came from? I came from Arizona. Okay. So, so what the, the uh, I mean, obviously Arizona and Newport are very different places, climate-wise, geographically. Um, what is it about Newport that attracted you? Well, I'm a water girl. So as you can imagine, in Arizona, I was a little thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. I'm not good with the burnt oranges and the, and the reds. I'm, 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 I'm blues and greens and everything about the water. So although I love Arizona very much for the architectural beauty of its uh, landscape and, and plants, um, I do prefer being on the East Coast and, and Newport. I grew up in Connecticut, so it's a similar kind of atmosphere. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so with that color scheme in mind, with the blues, um, I just want to touch briefly on your paintings, um, which have done really, really well for obvious reasons. And both of these um, series of paintings, your blue garden and your water lily, uh, have the most beautiful color blue. And they're different mediums mixed together. So, as is your jewelry. So, can you tell me a little bit about how you make your paintings? And then we can segue right into your jewelry because there's such a close relationship. Well, I always started in mixed media. I was interested in, uh, in the way digital uh, came into play with all the new innovations of photography. And um, I started playing with different materials right away. And resin was something that I gravitated to almost immediately. Um, and I played with it with, with photography, um, but it also plays beautifully with acrylic paints and, um, and alcohol ink. So uh, these are the, this is what these are made of, is with mm -hmm. uh, wood panels, uh, with a beautiful blue background um, and acrylic flowers. They're gorgeous, they're so pure. They just have the purity to the color and to the design that it's just, it's, it's very, um, has a lot of impact it's very soothing, just kind of an interesting dynamic, you know, to have those the, those two things together. Um, so in the jewelry, talk to us about the mixed media here, because these earrings, correct, are right. resin? That's correct. The, the, the drops are all made with uh, resin and gold leaf. And they're called celestial dancers. And what is the stone? I'm sorry? And what is the stone? And the stone here are tanzanite, but we have them in onyx and, I mean, black, yeah, black onyx and green tourmalines and pink tourmalines and blue topaz. Uh, I think that covers them. And so inside the resin mm -hmm. is what? Inside is gold leaf. Okay. And how do you make these? <laughs> I know mean, you can't give away your secrets, but this is really, this is incredible. I, I mean, is it poured into a mold? They're, they're poured into mold, yep. Um, and they all take uh, 72 hours to, to cure uh, before, uh, before I can work with them. So I have to be patient, which is hard 
Right, <laughs> right, right. I would imagine. But I like to play. I would imagine. You know, they're really beautiful. You know, they're what, two inches long, right? Mm -hmm. So they're a great, great length, um, especially with the holidays coming up, which was a big reason we decided to do your, your show now. Um, all right, so we've got the drops, and then the butterflies. Yes, we have a, a, butter, a butterfly collection um, in uh, uh, pendants, earrings, uh, bracelets. Yeah, I've got mine on. And you're wearing one. Yep, do it with silver or a gold tone butterflies. They're beautiful abstract butterflies that I found. Uh, and I wanted to give them a sense of movement. So I had to work with the, the metals mm -hmm. in order to find a way to make them uh, feel like they're in flight. Uh, what I like is the fact that they're A, stretchy in the bracelet, yeah. B, that they stack really well. Mm -hmm. I definitely yeah. have never met a cuff bracelet that I didn't like, so this is, <laughs> this is just, this is great. Um, so it gives you a lot of versatility in terms of how you wear it and mixing metals and stones. So this is, that is black agate. Okay. And then they're also going to be here in the trunk show in Carnegie. Uh, uh, yep, exactly. Uh, there's going to be a purple tiger's eye Ooh. and a peacock blue turquoise and an ocean blue jasper. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I would be surprised as well. I can't wait. I can't let all the secrets out. Right, right, right. Gotcha. And then the <laughs> earrings, right? They are in gold and silver. That's correct. Correct? In yeah. the butterfly design? Yep. Yeah. All right. And Great. also the celestial dancers are also done in, uh, in both gold and, and silver tones. Right, okay. right. The silver here. And then there's the Polaris collection, which yes, I'm wearing. I'm wearing the, the necklace and the earrings, and so am I wearing earrings. And um, I have the, what do I have? I have the rose gold and silver. Rose gold, and I think I'm wearing the gold and gold. Right. Uh, and there's also stars that go with them, and then there's a, another one that, that hasn't, uh, hasn't arrived at the gallery yet, but will be at the show, a uh, shooting star, so <clears throat> kind of a similar design to the butterflies in flight, but we'll have stars in flight. So I'm excited. Something to look forward to. Right, right. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, so the show is next Saturday, November 20th. We'll be here all day, 11 to 4. And if anybody wants to get in touch before, I, I you know you can reach out on Instagram and um, we'll send you some info. And is there anything else that that we're not touching on. I just want to do a nod to my mom. Oh, all right, my, that's great. My mom uh, is a collector of jewelry and I really learned from her. I feel like it's in my DNA. She really taught me about stones and craftsmanship and quality. Wow. So I have to give a nod to my, to my mom and thank her. Uh, right after college, Hamilton College, I went to the Gemological Institute of America to get certified in, in gemology. And uh, my first job out of uh, college was with jewelry designer Angela Cummings. Nice. All right. Well, all that experience and expertise shows because it's, it's a beautiful collection. Well, thank you very much. Delighted to be here and thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Thank you.